hello, my name is Dr. Pavel Buczkowicz. I'd like to thank the organizers of the Festival of Genomics and Biodata for giving me the opportunity to speak to you today about a project to deliver equitable access to genomic medicine and genomic testing at the East GMS Alliance with Phenotype Software. I am a shareholder and board member of G42. First of all, I would like to acknowledge the wonderful team behind this work. Other than the names listed on this slide, there are many, many more people whose names would not fit here, but we are all grateful for their hard work and advocacy behind the scenes. And of course, also to the funding sources for this project provided by NHS England and NHS Improvement. The East Genomic Medicine Service Alliance, or GMSA, is one of seven such alliances across England. The East GMSA is comprised of Cambridge University Hospitals, Nottingham University Hospitals, University Hospitals of Leicester, as well as Norfolk and Norwich University Hospitals. The GMSA is also paired with the Regent's Genomic Laboratory Hub, which is led by the Centre at Cambridge and local laboratories located at Nottingham and Leicester. The East GMSA and GLH provide genetic and genomic care and testing for 29 NHS trusts and serve a population of over 8.3 million people. Phenotips is a genomic health record system that standardizes genetic and clinical information captured throughout the patient's journey across clinical care. All data is stored in computer readable format and symptoms, diseases, and genes are all standardized and coded. Phenotips provides extensive database functionality optimized for search and collaboration, as well as integration and embedding with existing EPR systems. Next generation phenotyping is supported with the human phenotype ontology and natural language processing capabilities within the software. The pedigree drawing tool allows for a single, editable digital pedigree that can represent multiple patients in a single family. The software understands the concept of a family. It is an end-to-end -end solution that can serve patients' digital questionnaires prior to their clinic visit. The responses from these questionnaires assist in the intake and triage, and importantly, pre-draw the pedigree based on patient responses. The questionnaires can be tailored towards the reason a patient is being referred, such as inherited cardiovascular disease. The pedigree and clinical data can then be further validated and expanded on during the clinic visit as the pedigree and other information can be updated live while the patient is with the clinician. There are integrated risk assessments available as part of the tool, for example, breast and ovarian cancer risk models and Lynch syndrome risk models that are being utilized as part of this project. The clinical and medical history of the patient including clinical symptoms and physical findings recorded in the HPO, can then be utilized to suggest other phenotypes to look for during the patient's clinic visit, as well as relevant disease and gene suggestions. So in a nutshell, those are the capabilities of phenotypes out of the box. The purpose of this mainstreaming project is to build a foundation for equal access to the nationally commissioned genomic tests set out in the National Genomic Test Directory. That means equal access to genomic medicine, no matter where people live or which hospitals they use. The main areas of focus are rare diseases and genetic-based diseases, cancer, and hematological malignancies, as well as making sure that you get efficiency and standardization as part of this virtuous cycle of clinical care and genetics. To attain some of these ambitious goals, the implementation of a cloud-based pedigree and phenotyping tool with the East GMSA was proposed in order to embed genomics into multi-professional clinical practice and end-to-end -end pathways across GMSA geography. Together with the East GLH, support variant MDTs, variant reporting and research, improve referral, triage, clinical care, risk stratification and data sharing, deliver large-scale clinical change of practice across primary and secondary care settings, and importantly, place patients and the public at the center of the implementation process. Here is a case vignette of the pre-implementation state. A 24-year-old man discussed his diagnosis of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with his GP as he had become aware that his mother also had this condition and one of her younger siblings had died suddenly. He initially discussed this with his general cardiologist, who suggested he arrange a genetics referral with his GP. 
following referral to a regional inherited cardiac condition service, he was sent a paper family history questionnaire to complete and return. The service drew a pedigree, which was scanned into the electronic health record, and he was reviewed and was reviewed in clinic where genetic testing was discussed and arranged. Further family history became available as another more distant relative disclosed a diagnosis of HCM on receiving a family letter. The pedigree was redrawn and rescanned with both copies retained. Genomic testing revealed a variant of unknown significance in the MYH7 gene, and a genomic MDT was arranged with the cardiologist and clinical and laboratory genetics teams. Each presented clinical, pedigree, and variant data, respectively, via video. It was concluded that family segregation would help interpretation. The method to accomplish the clinical workflow transformation project is outlined in the schematic. Clinical genetics referrals and other specialty referrals to any of the NHS trusts in the GMSA would link out to phenotypes directly from within each trust's EPR using standards such as HL7V2 and FIRE. Upon confirming the referral, a patient may be sent a digital questionnaire to fill out. In the example from the previous slide, it would be a questionnaire for inherited cardiovascular conditions. The questionnaire, among other things, results in the pedigree diagram available for clinicians to review and edit during the subsequent patient clinic visit. The pedigree and other clinical data in the software can be accessed and utilized by primary care physicians or secondary care specialists, depending on the clinical care pathway the patient's journey takes. Standardized clinical data, family history and pedigree information can then be used to guide further triage or perform risk assessments for appropriate indications. And if genetic testing is recommended, the relevant clinical and phenotypic information is shared directly with the GLH as part of the test order. Post-variant analysis, reports, and laboratory data can be stored and maintained in phenotypes, allowing for GLH variant MDTs and genetic counselors to view and collaborate on patient records to determine the next steps uh, in patient care, such as discussing results with the patient, informing of diagnosis, uh, treatment plans, further genetic counseling, and cascade testing. The outcomes and benefits of this new approach are a reduction on the reliance on paper-based records, which reduces the information governance risk and errors associated with redrawing pedigrees or manually copying information, a single digital file for the patient's genomic record, and the pedigree for the family is kept up to date with the most relevant information available to the patient's circle of care, increased genomic activities within and outside of the clinical genetic service, improved equity of access to genomic testing, increased patient engagement, better interoperability and collection with system integration, such as with EPRs, laboratory information management systems, or variant prioritization tools, as well as embedding genomics into multi-professional clinical practice, such as ICC and oncology, along with genetic medicine education for a larger proportion of clinicians and specialties outside of medical genetics, will further provide a more level standard of care for patients. While we're in the preliminary stages of this project, the goal would be to soon have both qualitative and quantitative metrics to report and share. We are expanding the digital patient questionnaire and integrated risk models beyond ICC and oncology. We're identifying the broad education and training needs for clinicians, specialist nurses, scientists, and patients throughout the GMSA. Um, and integrating further with laboratory workflows to support MDT reporting and research activities, as well as serve as a model for genomic mainstreaming across the NHS. If you're interested in learning more or collaborating with us on this or similar projects with your institution, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, and in closing, I'd like to thank the organizers once more for giving me the opportunity to present this work and for everyone who attended today's presentation. Thank you.